your deck look tired as a result of getting beaten by the weather? The following video will show you how to restore your deck's beauty and bring it back to life. This project will feature the use of many of the most popular power sanding tools currently on the market today, many of which may already be in your workshop. You will need a nail set, hammer, extension cord, belt sander, 30, 60, and 80 grit ceramic sanding belts, a belt cleaning stick, random orbit orbital sander, 80 and 120 grit film back sanding disc, multi-tool or detail sander, 80 and 100 grit detail multi-tool refills, 120 grit sanding sponges, a wet dry vacuum, hand brush, and a long flathead screwdriver. Use a nail set and hammer to recess all nail heads so that they are below the surface of the deck. This will make sure the nails are secured to the frame and will prevent damage to your sanding belts and discs. Sanding is the key to restoring your deck to its original beauty. This will be the most time consuming part of the project, but it's the most critical to ensure for the best results. For majority of the project, you'll be using a belt sander. Start belt sanding in the corner and work your way out. This will keep you from getting boxed in. Be sure to firmly grip your belt sander to maintain control. Sanding is a process of steps. So begin sanding with an extra coarse 36 grit ceramic sanding belt for fast removal of any old stains and sealers. You will immediately start to see the wood come back to life. Be sure to sand in line with the planks. This will minimize deep scratches left behind when sanding against the grain. During sanding, your belts may become clogged with debris and particles from stains and sealers. You can extend the life of your belts by using an abrasive belt cleaning stick to pull dust and debris from the abrasive surface. Now that your belt is clean, you're ready to continue sanding. Once you have sanded the entire deck, switch to a coarse 60 grit ceramic sanding belt. This will remove the scratches left behind from the previous grit. Again, sand the entire deck surface. Use your hand brush or wet dry vac to remove dust between each grit. This will ensure that your abrasive is in contact with the surface and reduce clogging. Repeat before moving on to the next grit as dust and debris accumulate. Finally, use a medium 80 grit ceramic sanding belt to achieve the final finish for your deck. This will remove all the 60 grit scratches and provide a smoother surface. This final step is very important to produce a smooth finish on your deck surface. Once the surface of your deck is sanded, it's time to turn your attention to the handrails. For best results, use a random orbit or palm grip sander on these flat surfaces. Assess the condition of your handrails to determine grit selection. Start with an extra coarse 40 grit if your rails require fast extreme removal of old stains and sealers. Once you are done sanding all of the rails with 40 grit, use an 80 or 100 grit to remove the 40 grit scratches. To knock down the sharp edges of your handrails, use a 120 grit sanding sponge. This will quickly round the sharp edges to prevent injury. Most decks have some type of decorative details installed, such as spindles. These present a challenge to properly sand and prepare for sealing. Use either a detail or multi-tool sander to sand into tight corners and small areas. These tools are also ideal for sanding the vertical spindles that support handrails. As with other parts of your deck, assess the condition of these decorative elements to determine grit selection. Start with an extra coarse 40 grit if you require fast extreme removal of old stains and sealers. Now that the hard part is over, it's time to clean up the deck in preparation for staining or sealing. Once all of the elements above your deck surface are cleaned, then focus on cleaning the main part of the deck. Use your long screwdriver to dig out the debris that builds up in the gaps between the planks. Use your wet dry vac to remove all dust and debris from the entire surface of the deck. Be thorough in your cleaning. 
Any dust and dirt left behind can affect the quality of your finish. Now it's time to apply your finish. Determine what kind of stain or sealer you want to apply to your deck. Your application technique will vary based upon the size and area of the deck you are working with. Consult your local paint store to determine the best finished and tools to use to apply your stain or sealer. All your planning and hard work is starting to pay off. In no time you will have a beautifully restored deck that you can enjoy for years to come.